Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to the Half-Life 2 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through Steam on the hard difficulty setting. This is Chapter 6, We Don't Go to Ravenholm. And in this chapter, we have three achievements to unlock. The first one is called Bone Breaker, where we must kill 30 enemies with the gravity gun. The second achievement is called Hallowed Ground, and the third achievement is called Zombie Chopper, where we must make it through the entire city of Ravenholm using only the gravity gun, and that's exactly what we're going to do. The gravity gun is a non-organic gun. It will not work on any of the enemies except the head crabs. So how are we supposed to survive in Ravenholm? Well, we must use the gravity gun to suck up objects and then punt them at the enemies. And that's what we're going to do right now. Let's get to it. Welcome to Ravenholm, everybody. And in this town, we have to use nothing but the gravity gun to kill all of the enemies. So, let's get to it right now with this explosive barrel. And then, let's go inside the shed. And inside the shed, we see this. We see death. And we see some saw blades. And we also see some gas canisters over here. Well, let's see what the saw blade does. As you can see, the saw blade cuts the zombie completely in half, which is awesome. Let's try out the gas canister. Oh, I guess the zombie already died from the saw blade, so make sure that zombie also dies. Let's try it again, shall we? Look at that! Isn't that just wonderful? Let's go ahead and try it again. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Now for this next part, what I'd like to do is grab up one more gas canister. Look at this, you guys. This does not happen very often, but I'm glad I got it on film. It's happened maybe five times total in the history of me playing this game. <laughs> he stopped flapping his wings. Oh my gosh, he's just in mid-air. And you can even jump on top of him. Now this I did not know. He's not afraid of Gordon Freeman, which is awesome. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, grab one more gas canister for this upcoming area. 
And the upcoming area is right up these stairs. You want to fire the canister at that barrel right there and then back up. And the explosions should be able to kill all of the zombies that were in this hallway. So, let's just move on outside. For it was said, they have become like these peculiar demons which dwell in matter, but in whom no light may be found. Peculiar demons? Who's saying this? Is there somebody alive in Ravenholm? That would be awesome. And here, look what we have here. A vicious looking propeller trap. Now what I do is I crouch underneath the blade and then just back up. Now to turn off the blade, just press the switch on the engine block. And then we'll just proceed from there. Now inside this next room, be very careful. As you can see, there is a head crab inside. And as you can also see, yes, you can use the gravity gun to kill the head crabs. And you can only do this with the head crabs and we'll find out why later on, but for right now, also be mindful that maybe in this room, yeah, you can even see him over there. Sometimes two more head crabs will come for you from the upcoming area, so be mindful of that. For the days of my life have vanished like smoke, and my bones are parched like ash, and let all my impurities be as fuel for that fire until nothing remains but the light of hope. The light alone. I wonder what he's talking about. Well, maybe we'll find out later on. For right now, there's some health packs here if you need them. And for this room, what I do is I try to lure these three zombies into the propeller trap by turning it on. And yeah, as you can see, sometimes the head crab will survive, and in that case, just lure him into the propeller trap as best you can. And for this next part, I like to use this engine block. Now, be very careful. As you saw earlier, there is a head crab on the loose. Okay, that's one more head crab dead, so that's two head crabs total, and there's one more alive. And there he is, that's all three head crabs dead. Okay, and that's all the zombies that are dead in this room. So now we must take care of the barrels. Okay, and all enemies and all barrels are taken care of in this room. The last thing to do is to grab the supply crates. Just grab what you need and then we'll move on with the engine block. Make sure that that zombie dies propped up against the barrel. <laughs> but 
Who is this? Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise. Oh my goodness. A bald citizen brandishing a shotgun. And his aim is awesome. I'm starting to like this guy, I think. Anyway, we'll grab up the engine block, and what we're going to do is go to the area to the left of the bonfire. For this zombie right here. Make sure that he dies. Now, to turn off the bonfire, what we have to do is use the valve wheel. And in the area beyond the bonfire, we're going to go to that area later on, and you'll see when we do that. For right now, let's investigate the bonfire residue, which includes these filleted corpses again. These do not look very friendly, and they don't look very pretty either. I would not want these guys hunting me down. Well, thankfully they are dead though, so we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, let's go up the incline. Okay, and we enter into this area. So what I do is I press the button to wake up the zombie. And then I press the valve wheel to turn on the gas, and then I light him up. <laughs> now, the next thing you want to do is take off all of the items from the table. Like, take them all off the table, completely. Because, what you want to do is fire a gas canister on the top ledge up there in the hopes of catching that head crab on fire up there. Yeah, there actually is a head crab up there. We're going to turn off this fire right here. No need to have it on anymore. Now, what we're going to do now with the head crab dead is place the engine block on the table, then jump on the table and then on the engine block to look up the ledge where we have some magnum bullets, as well as a health pack. So make sure to grab those items if you need them. There's nothing else up there, no other enemies and no other items. So let's just move on from there. We'll grab up this engine block and we're going to place it right here for right now. We'll turn off the fire again and then proceed. Now make sure all of the zombies see you before proceeding back here. Press the valve wheel and then press the button. <laughs> And that is just awesome to do. So we'll turn off the fire once again. And we come to this electrified fence. But do not go up the ladder right now. As you see from this poor soul, you will be electrified if you touch the fence. So we'll have to find some way to turn off the electrified fence. And that will be inside the building. That's where the answer is. We'll go into the room beyond the bonfire. Now for this area, I do not use any of the explosive barrels. They can just injure me if I'm not careful. So I just use the engine block. Okay, and all zombies are dead on this top level. 
Now up these stairs, you may notice a head crab up there. And in this case, what you want to, well, actually two head crabs, actually. So, my strategy is I just shove the furniture up there in the hopes of squishing the head crabs. Now, up the stairs, there are actually three head crabs, so I've, I've seen at least two of them. So be mindful that there are three of them. And then what I do is I fire a gas canister at that barrel. In the hopes of killing the head crabs, if possible. And then what I do is I go at the stairs backwards. And then look up and shoot that barrel. And that should kill the zombie and the third head crab, if possible. So I go up with this saw blade handy, just in case. Yep, there's... Get off of me. There's the third head crab, and he's now dead. We'll also kill that zombie for good measure. And then what we're going to do is go out onto the outer balcony up here. Because if we notice, there's a hastily sprayed lambda symbol right there. So what we're going to do is jump on the generators until we get to this air duct. And then crawl inside. Because out here, we can get some items. Okay, now back up here. Just proceed forward and make sure that that zombie right there dies. Now, through here is something ferocious. What in the world are these things? Well, let's find out. One percent health! One percent health! Oh my goodness, everybody! These are the poison head crabs. So dangerous because they will reduce you to 1% health so that other enemies nearby will finish you off. But don't worry, your hazard suit has neurotoxins which will boost you back up to maximum. And here we see a locked door. And if we push the couch out of the way, the door is still locked. So, we'll have to go on the other side of the door and see what's happening. Oh, there's a wardrobe blocking the way. And if we try it now, the door opens, which is awesome. Kind of a shortcut here in case you get surrounded. Anyways, our goal is right there. That will turn off the electrified fence so now we can go up that ladder. Finally! Let's go back down the stairs with our saw blade. Make sure that that poison head crab dies quickly. You don't want to be bitten again. There are two poison head crabs right there, so make sure they both die. Now about this saw blade, what I do is I go up the incline, and then I look up and to the right, and then shoot the saw blade at the window to where it sticks about right there, to use for later on. And now we'll go up the ladders. Well done. 
done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. A bald citizen brandishing a shotgun who has also set up some traps. That's getting even more awesome. I'm liking this guy. Now from here, you can actually crouch down and shoot the head crabs with the gravity gun, of course, from this vantage point. And you don't have to deal with them later on, which is just awesome. So that's what we're going to do right now. But yeah, isn't that weird? You can shoot head crabs, which are supposed to be quote unquote organic, but the gravity gun still shoots them. And why is that? Well, there is an answer, and it will not be revealed for a long time, so we'll have to discover that as we discover it, as we're waiting for this fourth head crab. There he is. Okay, and all four head crabs are dead. So now we'll move on. Now here, there is a trap later on, and what I do is I like to be prepared. So I drop down the gas canisters down here in case the trap does not work. So we'll drop down. Now here, to ensure my survival, what I do is I grab a gas canister, I go outside, I shoot it there, alert these zombies, and then lower down this car. Just like that. And again. All right, that trap worked out wonderfully. It's a car trap, and you can squish all the zombies right here. There's also a second car that you can raise up and do the same thing like last time. And look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? Mashed zombie stew. And here we see another lambda symbol. But how are we supposed to get inside this area beyond there? The answer is the first car. We'll lower it back down, jump on the hood, and then jump on these boards up here. And then we'll jump beyond the lambda symbol right there. And we can grab some supplies. And then we'll go back using this slanted beam. Okay, so now we're ready. We'll go back and grab the saw blade. And what we're going to do with the saw blade is come out here and look up and then fire the saw blade at the window once again to where it sticks so we can use it for later on. And then we'll lower down the second car. And we'll jump on the hood and jump on the boards. Better and better. I am Father Grigori. You have already met my congregation. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy very much. Well, <laughs> let's just hope that his shotgun skills matches his righteousness, which in this case we've already seen. So obviously he can shoot. So obviously his righteousness it matches his shotgun skills. Anyways, we'll move on to the next section. Make sure that that fast head crab dies immediately. He can be very deadly. Ah, 
It is you, brother. I apologize. But no harm done. My bullets are the least of your concerns. Woe to thee! So, try and get Father Grigori to help you out with the zombies on your side of the ledge. <laughs> well, thank you, Father Grigori. He helped us out tremendously with the zombies on this ledge of ours, which is exactly what we want to have happen. So, what we're going to do is go back inside the window, because there's one more zombie to kill. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay. So once that zombie is dead, what we're going to do now is something very important. So make sure that you do this in at least two gas canister attempts. What you want to do is fire the gas canister at that barrel behind the grate. And out will pour a number of flaming fast head crabs. But what's interesting is once they all burn to death, it will cause all the other fast head crabs who are not burning to also die. See, there's a whole collection now of burned and not burned fast head crabs, which is just awesome. I'll take it. <laughs> Anyways, now with the other gas canister, what we're going to do is light up some barrels to help us out with the street full of zombies. Whoa! That could have been costly. That could have been very costly. The zombie tried to throw up a flaming barrel at me, but luckily I was able to catch it with the gravity gun and then launch it back down at those suckers. Okay, I'm not sure if we can do anything with this barrel from this vantage point because it's, it's too dangerous. So what we're going to do is jump down here, grab the saw blade, and then launch it about right here. Well, make sure that you don't lose it, basically. Okay, and I guess all the zombies here are dead. So now what we're going to do is go into the area beyond where the grate was, where the barrel was, and grab some supplies if we need them. Okay, and the street that was once full of zombies is now clear. So the next thing that we're going to do is grab up our saw blade, and then look up to the left and then fire it at that window right there and make sure it sticks. We're gonna go up the ladder. Actually, wait, no, no, not quite yet. There's one thing to discover, and that's in this dark alleyway. Grab these health packs if you need them. I almost forgot about them. Luckily, I remembered. And so now we'll go up the ladder and continue on. On the right side. Although they call me great, I care not, for thou art my helper, my strength, and my savior. Father Grigori, you're like the Terminator. This is just awesome. This guy is just so badass. Anyways, on the left side over here is a Lambda location, but it has a fast head crab inside. So what I do is I just stand here and use the. Um. I use the gravity gun to take care of him. Okay, and inside the Lambda location we have two health packs and two grenades. So grab those if you need them.
And now on this side, make sure that that zombie torso dies. So for this next area, I like to trade my saw blade for a brick. And we enter into this area. Well, it looks like the citizens were experimenting on dead zombies before the infestation happened. Or maybe during it. I'm not sure, but these miners have something to hide. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of zombies. So what we're going to do is use the meat hook. That's so much fun to do with the gravity gun. Anyways, we'll grab up our brick and go on to the next section. Now, there are some items right here if you need them, as well as some items right here as well. What in the world were those things? Oh my gosh, where's my brick? And there he is. We dreaded this day, my friends, but there he is. The fast zombie. Perhaps the most disgusting and disturbing of all of the undead. But for right now, we'll go outside. Now outside, there are three head crabs that we have to hunt down and kill. The first head crab is in the left corner right there. The second head crab is on the right side. And the third head crab is right here. So make sure that all three head crabs are dead. And now we can move on down to the center level. Right here. Now on the center level there's nothing to do. There's no items to grab. It's the bottom level where we want to go. Down here on this bottom level, what we can do is kill a zombie torso on the left side, as well as a regular zombie on the right side, behind the fire. And there's one more zombie to kill, and he's inside this alcove. So make sure that he dies as well. Now, about this saw blade, what I do is I look up at the water tower and then look to the right side and fire it at the brick building to where it sticks for a backup weapon later on if I lose my brick. And you'll see that later on, if I lose my brick. What in the world was that sound? Well, maybe we'll find out later on. For right now, what we're going to do is go back, wait a minute, what we're going to do first is analyze this. We have not seen this much very often, I've not showed this off, but you can look inside of the head crab, which is disturbingly sexy actually, I have to say. I'm sorry my friends, but for those of you who don't know me, this is exactly the type of stuff you'd expect from me, so I'm sorry for that. Anyways, back on the top level, we can enter inside this building. And there's more paint cans, so yeah, let's go ahead and paint some more zombies. Because that's always fun to do. <laughs> and he's still painted. <laughs> so, Okay, let's go up the stairs. Now inside this room, be very, very careful for two head crabs. Damn it. Stupid head crabs. These head crabs are so annoying sometimes. And inside here there's nothing. No items. It's a complete waste of time. So we'll just go through the green door. Damn it. Oh well, we'll just use that to kill the two zombies. Anyways, 
Inside here, we can grab some health packs if we need them, as well as grab some bullets here on this table if we need those as well. Now up here, you want to be very, very careful because there are two head crabs. And what you want to do... My goodness! is try and kill the first head crab with the brick like I failed to do. There's one more head crab. Just like that with the brick. And he died upside down as well. Look at that. What are you head crabs trying to do to me? Tempt me so that I'm too distracted and I get killed by you guys? Here, brother. Come closer. You've stirred up hell. <laughs> Man after my own heart. Here, I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Catch! Good. Now, keep it close. My advice to you is, aim for the head. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenhorn. Move on and I will meet you at the church. Okay, let's quickly run back inside here with the brick. Because we have to deal with fast zombies. Oh great, oh great. <laughs> this is already getting tough, and it's just going to get tougher and tougher, my friends. But Father Grigori should be able to take care of some of the fast zombies for you. Like he did right there. Thank you, Father. Anyways, now, so what we're going to do is jump into the water tower. And then carefully climb up the ladder. See, there's the saw blade for later on. And we'll climb up this ladder. And what we're going to want to do now is quickly go inside this room with the brick. Because now, <laughs> we have four fast zombies to take care of. Yeah, four of them. Not good! Not good! And the other one fell right through the ceiling! How awesome is that? Okay, there's one more fast zombie that will come for us. Okay, and all four fast zombies are dead. So yeah, I don't quick save my game but what you want to do for this area is always quick save because like you saw I almost got into trouble you do not want to get into trouble because these fast zombies can tear you apart press the button and this will summon two more fast zombies to come for you so once again be prepared with the brick And that's a lot of fast zombies, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, everybody is now dead, so we can finally breathe and wait for this lift to raise up. Yeah, this achievement, Zombie Chopper, is not easy to get. Although it's not the most difficult in the entire Half-Life franchise. Yeah, believe me, it's not difficult, comparative. All right, and down here, we will meet a brand new zombie. Are you ready? Well, ready or not, here he comes. Yes. And if you back up here, you get access to some health packs if you need them. But yes, look, it's a... Poison zombie. And he died upside down as well. Stop it, you guys. Stop it, please. I don't need distractions. Oh, gosh. Wait, sweetness, come back. I wasn't actually that tempted, I promise you. Anyways, enough of these jokes. Um, yeah. It's a poison zombie, and just look at the way he walks. 
and he's just so disturbing. <laughs> Four hits with the brick. That's how many shots he takes. He has a ton of health. So make sure that he dies with the brick. Now down here, there's nothing else to do. There's no items to grab and nothing else to see. So we'll just move on up the car ramp. And we'll move on to this room. Now this room will become familiar to us. We will be back here later on and you'll see when we'll be, we'll be back through the other side of the door for right now we'll move on to the next section and now this section this section has an infinite number of regular zombies yeah an infinite number as well as three poison zombies and one fast zombie the first poison zombie is in the left alcove right here Okay, so make sure that you kill all of the poison head crabs as well as the poison zombie. And yeah, all the infinite regular zombies are pouring through. Be careful when using this engine block, by the way. Because of this right there, the top will come off. But you can use it as a guillotine if you want to. Which is always... Damn it, just die. Which is always fun to do. These dang head crabs. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, the second poison zombie is to the right side of the engine block. But alerting him will also alert the third poison zombie as well as the fast zombie. Okay, there he is. There is the third poison zombie, and let's run away. Run away. Grab the brick, because here comes the fast zombie. <laughs> so make sure that he dies. Oh, and I killed a poison zombie as well. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, one more. Okay, all three poison zombies are dead and the fast zombie. So, what we're going to do now is place our weapons right here for easy access later on. And what I'm going to do is try and hunt down the remainder of the poison zombies, or poison head crabs, if there are any. Because those count as kills, in my opinion, and not the infinite zombies, because they're infinite. They'll just keep on coming forever. And yeah, that's it. So I killed all of the enemies that do not respawn. So what we're going to do is face this yellow building with the Casty logo, and then go to the right side of it, and up these stairs, and over here. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this at all. But over here, you can open up this gate if you want to. It just opens up the playing field a bit and allows you to escape if you get pinned. And so now what we're going to do is face the yellow building again, and this time we're going to go behind it. Grab up some health packs, and then go inside of the yellow building up here, where we have some more health packs, as well as a lever. Make sure you move this platform first before doing anything else. And that anything else involves going to the left side of the Casty logo and going up these yellow crates. 
Now when you go up this ladder, this will spawn in a fourth poison zombie right there. So we'll have to jump down and take care of him as well. What? How in the world did you hit me? Oh well. Okay, is everybody now dead? Good. And I have 69% suit. Well, I'm kind of glad I got bitten then, because I'd rather have this number than 100. Not really, I'd rather have 100 armor, but if I had any number besides 100, it would be 69. Yes, I'm that immature. I'm sorry. Anyways, now we can continue on and go further up these rooftops. Now, if we go to the left side over here, we can get some health and ammo, as well as this barrel, which we will drop down to the street below. We will also drop down these explosive barrels as well. We'll use them as a trap later on. We'll jump across to the platform that we moved, and then we'll continue on. Now, this must be done very quickly. Go up the ladder, and then run back down. Run. Just keep running. Yeah, because you see, the fast zombies are coming. And Father Grigori will help you out with them. Oh boy. Get off the engine block, Gordon. Wow, that was a close call. I thought the barrel might explode when he hit it. But, thank you, Father Grigori. You have helped me tremendously tonight. And there's an infinite number of zombies. They'll keep on coming through. So what we're going to do is go back up the yellow crates. And just continue on to where we were when we jumped off from those fast zombies. How came you here, brother? This is the wrong side of town for you. Did I not tell you to seek the church? Mend your ways before it is too late. So, we must go seek the church. All right, we'll go do that. Now, this will lower down, but don't worry, you won't fall off. We'll grab up a saw blade for this area. Now always make sure that you aim for the head, because if you don't and aim for the torso, there's a good chance that the zombies or the head crabs will survive. Just like that, you see that head crab? He came from a zombie. So make sure you aim for the head. Alright, and we'll go down to the next section. Now if you head to the left, we come down here, and we enter into this familiar area once again. Remember this area where we grabbed the supplies and I said we'd be back here? All that's changed is that this door has opened up. And so now we come to this area right here. What you want to do, since we have just the gravity gun, up here are three head crabs that we have to kill and they have the high ground and they are ready to pounce on us so what we want to do is stay down here and wait for them to walk along the lip of the ledge and then shoot them with the gravity gun 
Now, I suppose you could climb up the ladder and kill them. But on hard difficulty, they can zap your suit and health down very quickly. On easy and normal, you can probably get away with it, though. I mean, after all, we're doing this for the zombie chopper achievement. We have to use just the gravity gun. And... It can be very tricky. Look at that sexiness. Did you just see that? That's awesome. Thank you, Headcrab, for that wonderful show. Anyways, yeah, about the Zombie Chopper achievement, by the way. There are a lot of requirements for it. For one, you can use only the gravity gun. Okay, you can't sw you Look at this. <laughs> These headcrabs, man. These headcrabs. Anyway, you can't switch to any other weapon and use that weapon. You can switch to weapons, but as soon as you fire a weapon, even if it's not at an enemy, the achievement is negated, and you will not be able to get the achievement at all. Um, even the crowbar, if you use the crowbar to smash something, or even if you, if you swing in the air, you will not be able to get the achievement whatsoever. So, we have to use just the gravity gun. And I'm wondering where that third head crab is. He's not dead. I didn't hear him die. I know I'm taking my time, but, you know, for this section, this is a very... It's a stupid section. I really don't like this. Hmm. He must be behind the crates over there. Now, about that head crab over there, that's actually a fourth head crab. So, we'll go ahead and kill him right now. Yep, yep, there he is. There's the third head crab. Oh gosh, okay. So all four head crabs are now dead. I didn't take any damage. Still got 69 suit. I'm happy about that. Anyways, we're gonna go outside on this rooftop and alert one fast zombie to come for us. And you know the drill. We're going to kill him with the uh, saw blade. But with the saw blade, you want to make sure that you aim for the head at all times. You don't want a fast head crab to result. And over here, we'll alert one more fast zombie to come for us. Okay, and they're all dead. So now we'll continue on. Now this part is a really difficult section with just the gravity gun. What you want to do is jump down here and then shoot the saw blade at the poison zombie. Alright, awesome. And the poison zombie and its head crab spawns are dead. What you want to do is shoot the saw blade above the green door up there to where it sticks up there for later usage. Now what you want to do, this is a sprint right to the top of the stairs because one fast zombie will come for you. Let's go inside and be ready for him. He will come for you. Okay, and we'll leave the saw blade right in front of the door right there for later usage, and you'll see when. For right now, we'll go up the ladder. Ah, there you are! At last! I will send the cart for you, brother. It will be but a moment. Patience, brother! Guard yourself well! Now comes a difficult area. What you want to do is fall down to the catwalk again and go get your saw blade. And be prepared for up to nine fast zombies. At the minimum, at the minimum, there will be five of them. The number ranges from five to nine. I don't know what causes them to spawn at different numbers, but they do. Okay, 
Okay, there's one. Oh gosh! That's always scary when you see a fast zombie chasing you like that. That's two of them. Here comes a third one. Uh, okay, there's my saw blade. I thought I lost it. Okay, I hear more coming. Okay, I hear them climbing up the drain pipe. Where are they? Oh, please don't tell me they're stuck on the roof. I guess it is possible for that to happen, though I've not seen it happen very often. Great, well, let's go investigate then. Okay, um, I'm confused. I'm legitimately confused. I don't know where they are. There can't just be three of them. Maybe there is. Maybe that is the minimum number. I didn't know that. I guess three zombies is the minimum, and nine is the maximum. Okay, well, we'll just go in the cart then. The handbrake, brother! Release it and come down! Now, this fast zombie right there that you saw is not part of that group. He just spawns in automatically. brother. And so we meet at last. You are to be commended for avoiding my traps. Uh, the work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and now finds time for nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. As for me, a shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown <laughs> unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground. And finally, here, we brother. get to meet Father Grigori face to face. The badass preacher who has... Stay close, brother. ...who has basically guided us through Ravenholm and will now guide us to the mines. Let's go. Whoa! Nice shot, Father! That was awesome! Now, despite Father's whining, he will not die. I mean, the odds of him dying are very slim. So, just make sure that he does not get completely surrounded. Stay close to me, brother. Nice shoes, Father. Aim for the head. 
All right, Father. Come on, you and me. Let's do this. Let's be reckless about this. Oh, boy. <laughs> I require your assistance, brother. Yes, Father. I'm trying. I lost my brick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So many zombies. So much fun. Oh, shoot. That could have ended badly. I could have died there. Very close. Yes, my children, it is I. I can't find any objects to throw, so I have to come back this way. Okay, Father, I'm going to be on this side for a little while while I take care of these zombies. Can you take care of those guys in the fire? We have a little strategy going, Father. It's nice. You take care of one side, I take care of the other side. Follow me. Quickly, brother. Return to your true nature. Ah. You meant no harm. Oh, gosh. Okay, Father, I'm gonna be on this side for a little while. There are a lot of zombies. I am helping. Yes, Father, I am helping. Okay, there is a poison zombie right in that corner. Hurry while I hold the gate. Go quickly. Free, brother. Onward to the mine. All right, thank you, Father. Thank you. Farewell, brother. I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. Look to your own salvation. <laughs> And now, when you get this far into the game, you will unlock the achievement called Hallowed Ground. And you should also have unlocked the achievement called Bone Breaker by this point in the walkthrough. Now, Father Grigori will not die. He will be able to take care of all the zombies, but I'm going to continue on anyway. And we'll go to the next section. And now we enter the mineshaft area. Oh boy. So, 
What you want to do is slowly navigate your way down the beams, down the mine shaft, until you reach the catwalk down below. And this is typical Half-Life uh, platforming, if you know how Half-Life works. This is exactly what you'd expect from a Half-Life game. But eventually, you will reach the catwalk down below, and if you look down the mine shaft to the bottom, we see a large number of head crabs. Look at how many there are. How are we supposed to get past this section using just the gravity gun? Well, we're going to use the gravity gun to suck up these explosive barrels and use them. Just like that on all the head crabs. Now they give you enough barrels down here to do this, to kill all the enemies efficiently, if you use the barrels efficiently. Just aim for the large cluster of them until they get diminished. Yes, come on, yes. I'm able to grab it from here. Oh, well, I guess not. <laughs> At least not yet. Oh, well, here's one. We'll use this one. Just like that. So yeah, just keep doing this until most of the head crabs are dead. Nice! That was an awesome shot. Oh, there's one more. We'll make sure he's dead, too. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is! Yes! I got him! All right, is that everybody dead down there? Yes? No? Maybe? I hope so? Well, we'll look around here. In fact, we'll zoom in and see if any head crabs are lurking in the corners there. I want to make sure to kill everybody. And yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's all the head crabs dead. All right, so now what we're going to do is go to the bottom floor. But you want to be very quick because you have about 10 seconds to escape before an infinite number of fast head crabs show up. Yeah, an infinite number. Grab these health packs and then run. Just run for these steps going up. And then go to the right side and then jump and then crouch. Because like I said before, there's an infinite number Oh, come on. There's an infinite number of fast head crabs that will show up. Oh, shoot! You know what I forgot? Oh. I'm not gonna redo this section. There are three supply crates up on the first catwalk where I was, where I shot down the explosive barrels. Okay, there we go. So, there's three supply crates there, so if you want to go grab them... Wow, that was interesting. So, if you want to go grab them, go ahead and do that. I can't believe I forgot them, but I don't need them. There's no suit batteries in them. So here, what I'm doing is I'm just using the gravity gun to kill the head crabs from this vantage point. And yeah, see, there's the infinite number of fast head crabs. You can kill them, you can kill them, but they'll just keep showing up and they will wound you and eventually kill you. And here comes a poison head crab. So let's go deal with him. I wonder if I can get them to jump into the fire. Yes, maybe? Yes indeed, it is possible to catch them on fire. Oh. Okay, and we'll wait till my health regenerates before I grab those health packs. 
And yeah, you see, the infinite number of fast head crabs once again. I mean, they're just innumerable, that's all there is to say. Okay, so our health is back up to normal, so now we'll go on to this section. Now what you want to do here is suck up the items with the gravity gun. You do not want to try and jump the gap. You will not make it. And there's also a health pack behind the corpse over there, but it's very hard to see and very hard to grab. But there it goes. Now what you don't want to do is use this beam to jump over there. The beam will just collapse into the water. What you want to do is drop this explosive barrel down into the water below and then jump down into the water after it. Now, this must be done very quickly. What you want to do is suck up the explosive barrel with the gravity gun and go down the water tunnel. Now, what I'm going to do is save my game because I do not want to mess up this section right here. It's very tough. What you want to do is get sucked up by the barnacle tongue backwards. You do not want him to suck up the explosive barrel. You want to be holding on to it while you get sucked up. Now, you see the health pack on the left side of me, up on that ledge. What you want to do is wait until you're high enough, and then launch the explosive barrel at the barnacle. And then try and land on the platform with the health packs. But, let me be very honest right here, it's not worth it. Especially when you're using just the gravity gun like I am. Because all you can do is use the explosive barrel. You cannot use the crowbar to crowbar the damn thing. So, it's almost not worth it for all this stuff. Anyways, what we're going to do now is drop back into the water and continue on. Right through here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's go. Now, let's get off the tracks and then crouch. Yes. I want one of these. Let's crouch again. And so, just keep going up until you reach the top. And look at this! Look at this! Have we finally escaped Ravenholm? Is this the end? Let's go find out in the next section. And this will unlock the achievement called Zombie Chopper. We did it! We made it through Ravenholm using only the gravity gun. Yes! And it's so nice to use the shotgun, finally! Yes! So orgasmic. Anyways, you want to make it up here for this Lambda location for a Magnum and some grenades if you need them. And so now we'll take the right path down the railroad tracks.
Yeah, I can't shoot a fast zombie in midair like Father Grigori can. Because, you know, Father Grigori is a badass, what else can I say? And the sniper took care of all the zombies for us. Now, they give us grenades here for a reason. And out will pop a Combine Soldier. Just like in the Hunter Chopper in Water Hazard. These are the human beings who have sold themselves to the Combine. They are the advanced troops. I'll do a special video about the Combine at the very end of this walkthrough. So be prepared for that. Now what I do here is I shoot the barrels. So that they won't cause me pain later on. And then what I do is I sprint for underneath the water tower. And you can use the gravity gun to suck up the supplies if you need them. And yeah, the sniper will just be playing around with the stuff over there as long as he doesn't see you. Now what we're going to do is run to the left side of the flat car with the logs on it. The left side of it. And then crouch along the left side of it. And don't miss that head crab on the right side. Now, here, what you want to do is suck up the supply tray with the gravity gun, but you do not want to go inside the box car. The sniper can hit you from inside. But he cannot hit you from right here, so don't worry about that. <laughs> it's so nice to get revenge on the Combine. Can't stand these guys whatsoever. Okay, I took some damage, but that's okay. Now this guy will drop a brand new weapon. The Overwatch Standard Issue Pulse Rifle, or Pulse Rifle for short. And this weapon is so badass, I will demonstrate it later in this video. Now, the reason why I used an SMG grenade on this guy right here is because of his yellow eyes. Right there. These yellow eyes indicate that he is carrying a shotgun. And the shotgun is a very deadly weapon. It can tear you apart if you're not ready for it. It can drain you of all of your health. So be quick with him. And make sure to grab more pulse ammo from the supply crate. And, yeah, I shot a seagull because he'll poop on my car later on, no doubt. I mean, it always happens. Now, what you want to do is sprint down the railroad tracks. For that guy right there. And then for two more combine over here. You see, this is an awesome weapon. The Pulse Rifle is an awesome weapon indeed. It does a lot of damage. 
Make sure to grab the supplies from this blue van if you need them. And now we'll go the long way around this train to the other side. And on the other side, we're still not done yet with the enemies. What I do here, and you don't have to do it, is I shoot a barrel in the opening. And that should be able to kill both of the Combine soldiers in there. If not, just use the pulse rifle to finish any of them off. Now sometimes an armor battery will show up and sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what dictates that. Dictates that. If I can talk right today. But that's okay. Okay, and now we're going to go see our employer. Or at least get a glimpse of him, rather. Using this crate. We're going to try and jump up the downed oil tanker. Okay, there we go. And then use the crate to jump on top of the regular oil tanker. And then come over this way. And if we zoom in, we see our employer, the G-Man. What? Why has he employed us? What does he want from us? Maybe we'll never find out, and maybe we'll find out. Who knows? We'll have to play this game to find out. But in the meantime, before we find out, let's do some more killing. Do not miss this on the right side. It's easy to miss. It's a pulse rifle secondary fire. I will demonstrate that in a later video. But for right now, let's do some more killing. Winston's been hit. Patch him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Gordon Freeman. It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Follow me. Okay, let's go. It's Leon. We're all clear. And I've got Gordon Freeman. Dr. Freeman, you're kidding. I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Dr. Freeman. Eli Vance is indispensable. To the liberation. Oh no. Alex, it's Leon, and I've got Gordon Freeman with me. Hey, Alex. Gordon, you made it to Raven Home. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The border guns tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm gonna hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high-security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? You won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the towel cannon. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Narco? Bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. <sighs> Thanks, Leon. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in Nova Prospect. Bye for now. Bye, Alex. Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any comfort. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers, you'll stand a fair chance against the antlions. I'll radio ahead to let the next base know you're coming. Shore point to NLO. Shore point to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? 
Shorepoint to NLO. Shorepoint to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? That map is out of date, but you can still see more or less the route to Nova Prospect. Can't vouch for the road, though. We've lost touch with some of the outposts. Okay, and NLO. we're right here Shore in the bottom right Odessa. at Shorepoint Base. Read? What we want to do in the next chapter is head on up to, to New Little Odessa, to New Little right Odessa. there. Come in, Odessa. And you then, read. in Chapter 8, make our way up to this area over here to Shore Lighthouse Point, point and point then to, to Nova Odessa. Prospect in, in Chapter 9. So we still got a lot more to do here. So let's Shore get to NLO. it right now. Shore point to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? Let's head on out to the next chapter. And I'll see you guys in the next video, Chapter 7, Highway 17. Our adventure is almost halfway over, but we still got a hell of a journey ahead of us. So until next time, until we get to the scout car, I'm Big Mac Davis. Take care, everybody.